Dad. Dada. Da. Yeah. Dada. Charlie Grijalva was diagnosed with PTSD while he was still in the Army. Back in 2014, while Congress was debating how to fix long wait times at the VA, he was in Imperial Valley, a desert community about two hours from the VA hospital in San Diego, with his wife Gloria. It's a small town, so everybody knows each other. His, my parents, his mom went to school with my mom. Um, his dad lived like two blocks away from my dad, so everybody knows each other here. Charlie had a history of suicidal thoughts after spending 18 months in Afghanistan and a year in Iraq. The VA tried to reach out. In early 2014, his wife said his psychiatrist seemed to get his prescription right. Then, according to VA records, things started to go wrong. His psychiatrist left the VA that summer. He missed an appointment with a nurse practitioner in September. The VA renewed his medications over the phone, and because San Diego's wait times were so long, they offered to let him see a doctor outside the VA system under the new CHOICE program. But by December 2014, his medication had run out again. And then it was the holidays. Grijalva had a young family and a new baby on the way. He insisted on giving his kids a magical Christmas. He said, you know what, I want to do what I, what I we used to do as a kid and play some Christmas music and have the kids decorate the tree, drink hot chocolate and, you know, eat cookie. Oh, it's like, all right, you know, let's do it. Even though he was still feeling the way he was, he wanted to have that kind of Christmas for his kids. A few days before Christmas, his wife found him. He'd hung himself a few hours after he had texted her, I love you. He had told me when he was at his lowest, I don't want my kids to see this. I don't want to put my kids through any of this. You can't say whether the VA would have saved his life, but everyone agrees the system, with its long wait times, needed to be fixed. That's why Congress passed a law that was supposed to give VA hospitals the resources they need to help veterans like Grijalva see a doctor. David Shokin joined the VA after the law passed, but it was his job as a top VA official at headquarters to help hospitals use Veterans Choice Money to help beef up their staff. Our goal is, is to get them the health care professionals that they need so that the choice money, we wanted everybody to go out and execute on it and to use that money as quickly as possible because we have a sense of crisis. For the past several months, KPBS and NPR have been looking at how the VA spent the $2.5 billion in the choice law that was used to hire staff inside the VA. To give you a little illustration of what we found, I took a car ride around Southern California. The first stop, the big VA in Los Angeles. We're out here at the West Los Angeles VA. This is in the middle of the day. It's very busy here. You look down here, you see full parking lots, vets coming in and out for their appointments. We decided to come up here on the 5 from San Diego to take a look at where the VA decided to hire doctors and nurses. Now, this is one of the busiest VAs in the country, but they actually received fewer people than San Diego. And their wait times have actually gotten worse over the last couple of years. OK, so that's L.A. Now, our reporting found that L.A. was one of 33 hospitals around the country that the VA actually prioritized under Veterans Choice. But it did not get a lot of new staff, considering its size. And overall, its wait times have not come down. Okay, so back in the car, my next stop, Long Beach, about a half hour south of L.A., depending on the traffic. We're wrapping up a tour of Southern California VAs at Long Beach. It's getting late in the day, but there are still plenty of cars out here in the parking lot. Long Beach is a growing VA. They received more people from the Choice Program than L.A. did, though among L.A., San Diego, and Long Beach, Long Beach is the smallest of the three. And after two years, their wait times have still gone up slightly. Looking around Southern California, it's hard to see a pattern. The VA gave priority to every Southern California VA, except for some reason, San Diego. Yet San Diego had one of the longest wait times in the country if you needed to see a mental health specialist. San Diego asked for 40 mental health providers to tackle its wait times. It was allowed to hire 24 people the year the money first became available. When they came back a second year, Dr. Nilo Afari, the acting chief of staff for mental health, says they were told the money was all gone. At that point, um, we heard that the funding had actually um, that, that had been received by the facility was not enough to cover both years. It was really only for FY15. So San Diego didn't get everything it asked for, and L.A. didn't get nearly as much as you would imagine given its size and overall need. 
It was a pattern we found around the country, showing just how hard it can be to target a problem like wait times when you have a system as vast as the VA.